in our clinic here, the, the Family Health Center, we have a substantially higher percentage of people who struggle, uh, even though they might be receiving what we think of as typical you know, primary care. Uh, people would come in for their their uh, diabetes follow-ups or hypertension follow-ups, and uh, we'd set a plan in place, and then three to six months later when they would come in, it was fairly frequent that things wouldn't be going real well. It makes sense. There are lots of patients that have social determinants, uh, issues that aren't necessarily medical issues, but they get in the way of uh, getting to a clinic or taking care of their medical issues or even focusing on the basics around your medical issues. And so the idea was um, run through Mid-Minnesota Legal Aid and Blue Cross Blue Shield and we were given a grant through that insurance company to um, hire an attorney to be here full time. I am a staff attorney with Mid-Minnesota Legal Aid and I am the legal partner in the medical legal partnership here at the Center Care Family Health Center. I am 100% full-time devoted to the Medical Legal Partnership. I am in the clinic itself two and a half days a week meeting with patients, talking with providers. These are free legal services provided to our patients and it can be a wide range of things. It can be family law issues, it can be housing issues, it can be you know access to disability benefits. It's a whole gamut of issues and the best way to think of it is if you have a legal issue outside that's somehow preventing you from being healthy, my job is to try to target that. The, the evidence is pretty clear that about 60% of a person's uh, health factors are more related to, to a social determinants than really what their physician can do for them. I had a nurse care coordinator come up to me and she said she had this patient who had missed a couple of visits with a provider and a lot of it had to do with depression, anxiety that she was experiencing because she was being stalked by a neighbor. And so the nurse convinced her to come into the clinic and meet with her so that they can talk about all of her medications and all the things that are going on. And fortunately, because I was here that day, I was also able to meet with the patient and we were able to file a petition for a harassment restraining order and the very next day we got the harassment restraining order and immediately, you know, even after filing the petition, the anxiety and the, the depression that the patient was experiencing got significantly better and she's making strides every day now that she's not having to experience that harassment. So I see, you know, as an example, somebody comes in and, and uh, they're struggling because they're homeless. And the reason they're homeless is because they have maybe some legal issue in their past that makes it more difficult for them to obtain the housing that they might otherwise qualify for. And then, of course, if you can't be stabilized medically, usually things go bad until they access the one place they can access, which is the emergency department, which is extraordinarily expensive. Those people who have been involved in our medical legal partnership over time have had decreased health care costs primarily because they don't end up going to the emergency room as often. And it doesn't take many uh, eliminated emergency room visits to make up for even a lawyer's salary. <laughs> what makes it innovative and unique is it is new to health care. Being one of the first people out of the Twin Cities area, one of the first clinics outside of the Twin Cities area to offer this to our patients, that's innovative. It's always good when you can provide a service that allows patients and, and people in the community, you know, we're, we're pretty integral in the community, we serve a large population, and when you can better help people become healthy and live better and be better participants in the community, I always think that's a great thing. Mm -hmm.